Hey folks, if you're doing these in order, this is the last one for science that you have to look at. All right, water worksheet. Um, I'm going to write a bunch of stuff on here just because it's easier. Um, if I look down here, the thing that I see is this line means I have ice. I have a solid. I do not have any liquid down here. Here, I have something that is melting or it is freezing. Depending upon which direction I'm going. If I'm going to the right, I'm melting. If I'm going to the left, I'm freezing. But either way, I have both water, both solid and liquid right here. All right. So what you're seeing here is if you're sitting uh, at Famous Anthony's with a glass of water that's half full of ice and half full of water, that's what you're looking at. The temperature is right here. It is not changing. Right. Now once all the ice melts, the water is going to start to warm up. So this over here between C and D, this is all liquid. All right. There is no ice. There is no steam. It's not boiling. All right. At a particular temperature, that water is going to get hot enough to the point where it boils. All right. And when it boils, you are going to see a liquid and you're going to see a gas present at the same time. Until such time as all the water boils off and all you have left is gas. I want you to keep heating up that gas and keep heating up that gas. All you have over here is gas and you get superheated steam. Right. Now what temperature does water freeze at? You should know that. The temperature here is 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use Celsius in class. And up here, what's happening when the water boils? It's at 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. These are numbers that you should know. If you don't know them, make sure you commit them to memory before you take the test. All right? We just did that. Freezing point, melting point, those are both at zero degrees Celsius. All right? So don't say, well, it's melting at one and it's freezing at zero or it's free. No. Freezing point and melting point are both zero degrees Celsius, and your boiling point and your condensing point are both 100 degrees Celsius. Give me an example of what surface tension does that might be unexpected. Well, we talked about that in the podcast. We talked about bugs floating on water. Right? Uh, so that's important. Um, so there are things that can float on water because there is that film that is created on top of the water. We'll talk about exactly what surface tension is later in class when we actually get into that in chemistry. But you should be familiar with surface tension. You've seen it. Right? Certainly you can float on water. That's an example of what surface tension does for you. All right. Why does oil float on water? That is not surface tension. That is density. Right. So you need to understand the concept of density. Density does apply to water. Right. So you'll see questions about that on tests and everything for the rest of the year. Okay. I think that's it.